Today's woman versus man is about money and matrimony. You know the saying, what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. But more newlyweds are skipping the traditional joint bank account. Jacinda and Flytie are asking if couples should combine their finances in an all new woman versus man. Oh babe, I don't think I told you yet. I did go ahead and book my flight to Chicago. Really, I didn't see the money come out of the account. Oh no, I didn't use our joint. I used um, my separate account because I. Uh, your separate account? Yeah. No, your money is my money. Mm. You tell me you buy the plane. No, 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 no. Every couple handles their money differently. We decided to come together with joint accounts and have separate accounts. I can't help he doesn't use his or even know how to access his account. I don't think Jacinda understands. We're married now. It's no longer her money and my money. All the money is our money. We have a joint account that's our money. We already discussed this. Separate account, that's my money, my account. No, 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 no. Doesn't, that doesn't affect you. Listen, I don't care if you have your separate account. That's still my money. Matter of fact, let me look at your account to see how much money we got. He is tripping over here wondering how much money is in my account. That's my account because that's my money. When you're married, everything comes together, including your money. Let me see how much money she has in her account. What? Oh, I'm going shopping. You crazy. <laughs> Jacinda and Flytie are asking <laughs> if couples should combine their money in this week's new woman versus man. And Jacinda, you're all for separate? Yeah, I'm all for separate because, I mean, you guys know I like to do a little bit of shopping. And he gets mad about that anyway, so he would know <laughs> nothing. I mean, it, you would be like, hey, babe, and have no idea that all these bags in the car are mine from my bank account. Now, so that me, sounds ridiculous. Me. That sounds ridiculous. I need to know everything. All what? your money? You give me that. I need that. I mean, come on. When you, when you join together as one, mm -hmm. that means your money joins together Amen. as well. Thank you, Amen. thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and I say that because I remember we had to do pre-marriage counseling with our pastor. And one of the things is, he said, would you ever say to the other, that is my child or that is your Ooh, child? That's good. You Come would on. never do that Come and you should, look at, no you, you should look at the money that you earn the same way. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can still kind of argue that a little bit, but but no, I just like the separateness of it. You know, we do have our accounts, but then we also have some separate ones that I think you can have fun with on your own. Like there are some trips that I'm planning with my girlfriends, and that's coming out of my separate account. My, see, I don't like that word, my. Yeah. It should be ours. I don't even know how much money she has in her account. You know, I, I should know. have access to everything. I know. See, and you know, <laughs> to me, that just leads to trust issues, I would think. I mean, he has access to them. He has access to all the accounts. Okay. He, if he chooses not to know what the balance is, that's on him. <laughs> he True. Has, if he doesn't have access, access to everything. And, well, this is the situation that I'm kind of figuring out with my husband now. We got so married a few months ago. We are transitioning. So we set up a joint bank account, but we still have our separate. So we're trying to figure out how to funnel, like what should be kept separate for a little bit of play money sometimes because yeah. I like to shop too. I like having makeup and you know what? I understand having a little bit of a lump sum in your own account. Two words And you never know what's going to happen either in the future. Two words for you. Direct deposit right into that joint account. <laughs> <laughs> See, because here's the thing. What I, I like having the joint because then we actually have conversations about money. Mm -hmm. I actually know what is important to her and what's not important to her. And then we think, okay, what are our goals with our money as opposed to you've got your own goals with your money over here and I've got my own goals with my money over there and they they might not connect. Yeah, we have our own goals. We definitely yeah. have our own separate goals right now. But I handle <laughs> all the finances. So. He, he, every day I come home, there's something new with landscaping, something new in the backyard. I'm like, where is this money coming from? What are you doing? <laughs> and I'm over here saving. I'm stacking in my account. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, stacking over here. Stack it I'm and stacking. Then, and then <laughs> him to the mall. I'm yeah. stacking because he keeps buying all this stuff. And one day, and I just feel like one day he's going to be like, ah, oh, we're kind of tight right here. And I'm going to be like, I got you, babe. I got you. Oh. I've been stacking. So you're waiting you know? for that moment. Someone I just want to be the safety. Someone write, wrote on Twitter and said, well, how else would you really hold each other accountable? And You keep don't. <laughs> you don't. See what I mean? You just trust. It's a no oh. win fight. It's a no win fight. Right. And the, well, the you paper can, you trail can just is file smaller. bankruptcy. Don't worry. No! no. It's, don't you say just, that. Yeah, like, I refute that. Yeah, don't but what do you that. think about this? What's the right way to do this? All right. of our financial advice. Listen to us. <laughs> so
743. Let's get you updated on your weatherwise forecast. Thanks, Wadi and City. Jacinda, as always, a an interesting conversation from all angles.